So over the years, I've owned several boats, uh, you know, try, always trying to find the, the quote, perfect boat. Uh, you know, one that'll do everything. I, I don't believe that's possible, but, you know, I've always had a dream of building my own boat. And I just thought that would be cool, you know, to actually say, hey, I built my own boat to fish out of it. You could make it exactly as you want it, modify it. Uh, you know, I just always thought that'd be a, a neat thing. So it's been several years in the making, actually, of building up to this, but the day is finally here. So let me show you what I got going on here. On the trailer here, we've got somewhere in that pile of stuff is a boat. Um, I'm pretty excited about this here. I'm going to bring you guys along for the entire process. Uh, you know, from, from start to finish and everywhere in between. Uh, there's a trailer full of aluminum here. I'm going to build somewhere in the neighborhood of a 23 foot long v-bottom boat uh, with reverse chines in it there's enough material here i'm going to build the trailer that it sits on too everything's going to be all out of aluminum i'm going to overbuild the hell out of this boat uh you know 3 sixteenths and and uh you know heavy heavy gauge material so anyway uh you know, the, the vast majority of my fishing is, is crappie fishing. Uh, we do a lot of white bass fishing here. We do a lot of cat fishing. So this boat's going to be primarily focused towards the, uh, the spider rigging, the vertical jigging, the drift fishing, you know, that I do. So uh, it's going to be a big project, a big undertaking, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. So stay tuned here uh, for this project. I'm going to try to bring you guys as long and hopefully keep you up to date as, as best I can with, uh, with the progress. So anyway, be looking out for, uh, for building a boat from scratch. It's going to be fun, guys. I got to get all this material unloaded now. All right, so I got everything unloaded here. Got, uh, got all the aluminum here in the, in the shed where I'm going to build this thing. Uh, I got everything kind of sorted out, you know, as how I'm going to use it. Uh, these are big sheets. It's a lot of weight, and the majority of this I'm going to be doing by myself or just with one one helper. So I uh, had to kind of think about that a little bit. You know, these big long, these are 25 foot sheets, 3 16 thick. So they weigh about 250 pounds a piece, a little over that. So, uh, you know, kind of thinking about that as we go. So, first thing I need to do here is uh, I've got to rip down the bottom of my hull. Now, I bought this. Uh, the sheet aluminum here, these are 25 foot sheets, 3 16 thick, 4 foot wide. Now, uh, to be legal here, and you know, legal as far as your width of towing, you cannot exceed 8 foot 6 inches or 102 inches. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take these sheets and I'm going to rip them down uh, 4 inches. So, they'll be 44 inches. So, the bottom of my boat will be 88 inches, and then the beam, the top of my boat, is going to come up and be right at a hundred inches wide at the top. So I'll have a uh, you know basically two inches to spare to be legal, and that'll give me a nice uh, a nice looking nice looking flare to the boat and, and keep everything uh, looking real nice. So first things first, I've got to take these sheets and I've got to basically rip down um, the bottom 50 feet first. So I've got this skid here. This is the this is the skid that the uh, the aluminum sheet came on. So I'm going to lay this down, lay, uh, lay my sheet on top of that, snap some lines, get me a good straight edge here, and, uh, and then go ahead and start ripping this aluminum. So the way I'm going to rip this aluminum here is I'm going to take, uh, I'm gonna take a, I've got a big worm drive saw, seven and a quarter inch worm drive saw here, and that's a, a it's actually a Diablo blade, a steel demon. Uh, blade designed for cutting metal so i should get a nice good clean cut out of this and uh you know whenever you're doing this kind of stuff uh you know clean cuts especially on aluminum is super important um you know you got to have nice tight fit ups uh whenever i weld all this stuff together so anyway gonna get that started and once we get the uh once we get this ripped down, then I've got some blocks I've already cut. This boat's going to have six inches of dead rise on it. It's going to be a, a V-bottom uh, boat, and it's going to come up. Not quite like the V-bottom that you see here. This is my, uh, my bigger boat. This is like your standard walleye boat here, um, you know, with a deep V. 
So this boat here is is not going to be uh, you know a deep deep V. It's going to be more in between a deep V and a modified V. Uh, I had I had a modified V. I'll show you a picture of this right here. I just sold. Uh, here it is. So this is a modified V. Not quite as uh, aggressive V. And so I'm going to kind of go in between the middle here. Kind of find a happy medium between this deep V and a uh, and a modified. And what that will give me is uh, still give me the good ride of the V boat. Uh, but still give me a bunch of room up front. So that's kind of something you lack on these big big boats here is you know because they come so so steep together in the front you lose a lot of uh, a lot of space up front so anyway gonna get that set up get it blocked up and have a look see how I'm gonna uh, how the V's gonna come together in the front and then where are all my cuts because those are those are very important cuts these are pretty expensive pieces of, of aluminum and you know measure four times to cut once on on this kind of deal so anyway I'll get a little further set up and then uh, and show you what I got all right, so first thing first, we've got to rip this sheet down. So what I've done here is I've taken this piece of angle here. This is an inch and a half by three sixteenths. This is going to be the keel of the boat. So it's the same length as a sheet. I've taken and clamped it down. Measured over. We're going to rip this sheet down four inches. So it's going to be a 44 inch sheet whenever it's done for an 88 inch bottom. Uh, using a big worm drive saw here with a metal blade. Just running down that straight edge, making a nice clean rip. All right, one down and one to go. All right, so. I got the sheets ripped down and I've got the boat in uh, basically the, the position that's going to be, uh, you know, the hull, the bottom of the hull. And I did that basically because I wanted to see how long this boat was going to be um, so I can build the trailer accordingly because I'm going to have to build the trailer basically before I build the boat because um, this thing's going to be so big and heavy and awkward that after I get the hull done, I can put it on the trailer and then move it around as such. So, anyway. I'm going to try to kind of bring you guys along during this whole process, uh, almost kind of like a how-to, uh, more or less. But So there's going to be some instances here where I'm going to have you know extended periods of time where I'm going to talk a lot you know, instead of showing and kind of discuss what I'm doing. So I'll just show you this here. So what I've done here is I've basically mocked up what this, more or less, what the bottom of the hall is going to look like. And this is kind of, this is what it is. This is... Uh, this boat's going to have 15 degrees of dead rise. So what I did was I took the four foot sheets. These were four foot by 25 foot long sheets. I ripped four inches off of each, uh, each sheet. So I've got two sheets now that are 44 inches. Now, why would I rip four foot sheets off or four inch pieces off you say? Well, these 25 foot sheets are crazy expensive uh you know as compared to just your standard four by eight sheets but i wanted full length sheets for the hull and the sides yes i could have spliced them in but you know the splices never come out right and if you're doing it you might as well do it right have seamless uh hull and seamless sides so i ripped four inches off and what those four inches are going to do those four inches are going to be transferred up it's just a hair less than four inches because of the curve of my blade those are going to transfer over and be my the top of my gunnel on the boat. Uh, it's going to be a real nice wide gunnel, you know, good enough to step a foot on, you know, and things like that. So uh, that still leaves me with basically an 88 inches of material. Once I've put the 15 degree dead rise in, I lost four inches bringing the bringing the, the back up, so I'm still left with an 84 inch wide, um, basically, with chine to chine is what it's gonna be, which is, you know, if you guys think of a 2072, this boat's a foot wider at the bottom than a 2072. I'm gonna bring this thing out to right around 100 inches. I'm gonna it's gonna kinda slope out six inches uh, on each side. So it's going to be a very it's going to be a very wide boat nonetheless. Uh, if I would have stayed with the straight four footers, 
you know, then I would have, uh, uh, my sides would have almost been straight up, you know, because I could, I can't go over 102 inches and I don't even want to come close to 102 inches. I'd like to stay a hundred, uh, a hundred or, or right around that to give myself some wiggle room because legally you can't pull this thing if it's over eight foot six. So that's kind of a long drawn out way of what I did here. So now I've got the boat mocked up. I've got about a 25 degree dead rise here in the front. This is, uh, I'm gonna have to cut these sheets, but I basically just wanted to get uh, a length. Now, the, I started out with 25 foot sheets and I've lost, uh, you know, almost a foot by bringing this boat up. So I'm gonna build a trailer 24 foot long, uh, plumb down from the, from the V or from the front of the boat and then I'll add the tongue. It's kind of what I was getting at by, uh, I wanted to mock this up and just have a look-see at it anyway. So now I'm gonna start here. I've got, uh, I've got some sticks of two and a quarter inch by four inch by quarter inch thick channel. And that's what I'm gonna build. Uh, that's what I'm gonna build the trailer frame out of. I've got uh, some three by three by quarter square tubing. That's gonna be my cross pieces and also gonna act to hold my bunks. Uh, if you look at this boat over here, my deep V, it's going to be a very similar trailer to this, just it's going to be all welded aluminum. Uh, so I've got same axles here. These are, these are, uh, I'm going to run dual axles on this trailer. I, I'm still waiting on an axle to come in, but I can get started and, and basically mock everything up on the trailer. So I'm not waiting on things to arrive, but, uh, you know, this is, this is what the boat's going to look like. She's 24 and a half foot long. It's a, it's a big boat. Uh, gonna stick 28 inch sides on her. That's what the front's gonna be after 28 inch sides. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a, a barge. Um, it ought to cut through the water real good. You know, what kills these boats is, is the dead rise. And I've, I've talked about that. That boat there has a 15 degree dead rise and comes up to about a 35 in the front. Uh, the, my boat I just sold, it had about a seven degree dead rise and it was rough as hell. Uh, my little John boat that I've got out, my 1648, it's got about a three degree dead rise. And the flatter the dead rise, the rougher it is in uh, bigger water. You've got a little bit more, uh, you know, capacity. It, it, it's gonna draw a little bit deeper in shallow water, but nonetheless, this boat should still draw about a, only a foot so uh you know it'd still be very accessible i'm gonna put a jack plate on the motor anyway so i'll still be able to get in fairly shallow water even with this big of a boat uh so anyway that's a real long drawn out way of saying what i've got here but this is kind of a a simple mock-up nothing's set in stone or anything uh i'll have to build everything up once i do the final final mock-up and and make my cut this is a very important cut here like I said, these are super expensive pieces of metal, uh, and you know you got to get this cut right to bring the V together. But now we know we're going to build 24, uh, 24 foot trailer. These are 24 foot sticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 18 foot lengthwise. I'm going to cut this, cut the piece of channel without cutting it in two. Make a notch and bring it to the center with the uh, remaining six foot, and that'll put the V, you know, right around below that V of that boat, and then I'll, I'll come in and, and weld a tongue on this thing. But it's gonna be a pretty nice trailer nonetheless, double axle, all aluminum. So we get these sheets, uh, man handle these sheets back up on the wall and get everything strung out and start cutting stuff for the, uh, for the trailer.